Uh, Harvey Control 23006, emergency call on the Porter Estate. Male patient with stab wound. Patient is conscious and breathing, possible gang assault. Name's Rossi. You'll be okay. This is Marcus. Hi. He's been in a bit of a scrap. He's got a knife wound to the left arm. It looks superficial, minimal blood loss, no reduced sensation or function. Okay. All right, Marcus. Should we have a little look at you, sweetheart? Come on, okay. Mate. Come on, kid. Where'd you come from? The control said he was on the west side. Are you supposed to wait for the police? You'll be waiting all day on that lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Jeff. This is Dixie. Rossi. Just started a walk. You're a long way from home. I got the calls I was passing through. I'll, um... I'll leave them in your hands. Yeah, I'll sweep, yeah. Okay, Mum, just want to sit down there, you're gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> Hello, love. Can you tell me your name? <laughs> oh, can you just move back, please? Now, listen, I need you to be brave, all right? Now, this is only going to take a second, it's going to hurt. But it can't wait, do you understand me, yeah? Yeah? Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Looks like you beat us to it again then, mate. Faster brief, that's all. Yeah, what have we got? Well, it looks like a fall from height. At least took the worst of it. It's a fractured dislocation of the left ankle, which I've reduced. I haven't done anything else yet. All right, we're saving a leg or do for starters, eh? Hey? Let's get that Dixie get stuck in there. Yeah, it's job done. Yeah, yeah, it's a proper hero. We should get her out of here. Yeah, okay, I'll get a collar on board. You all right to Kenny, mate? Yeah. Um, oh, you should try a redial. Sorry? Have fun. I can't get a name out of her. Hi, right, Zoe. This is Gemma. She fell about 20 feet from the pedestrian bridge. She's got a fractured dislocation to her left ankle. She's paramedic induced at the scene. Straight through, please. Sats are at 95%. Okay. Pain relief? Oh, yes, please. Fire morphine. Let's get ready to move, please. Very, very gently. On three. One, two. Okay. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks. Hi, Gemma. I'm Zoe. I'm one of the doctors here. Can you hear me? Okay, Gemma. airway's clear. Let's hook her up. Sorry, you have to wait outside. I need to be with her. And you are? Tara's her sister. Let's get another line in and five more of more. How far did she fall? Uh, about 20 feet, we reckon. 20 feet? Where was she? She was on the porch of estate, love. What the hell was she doing Who reduced this ankle? Well, well that would be Rossi here. Oh, well, mate, good job. Okay, let's get all those down here to look at this leg before we plaster. Okay, I'm going to let CT know we need them. We want your money today, mate. It was nothing, it was just a case of keeping calm and remembering the training. Well, it takes a bit of nerve, you know, something like that. That's what we do, though, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. We're going to grab a cup of tea. You want to join us? I should be getting back. Uh, what about paperwork? Oh, we could do that, can't we? No, Rossi was first on the scene. Come on, dicks. All right, another time, eh? Get a drink? Definitely. You just bump fists. No. I want to work with you, son. What? We'll have to go after him. Please. Help me. What's wrong? My stomach is it's agony and my back hurts. I don't think I can stand up. What, did you fall or something? Earlier. Yeah. Please help me. All right. All right, let me check you over. Um, did you lose consciousness? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Uh, have you got nothing for the pain? I'll get some paracetamol. I think it's going to need to be something stronger than that. I haven't got anything else. What about morphine or something? I don't do any of that stuff. What do you mean you don't do it? What kind of paramedic are you? Just get here as soon as you can, all right? Okay. 
so they're on their way. So all you have to do is you have to sit and wait, yeah? What are you saying? If they catch me here, I'm gonna go to jail. Please, don't leave me. So what was it then? The uniform or the flashing lights? What do you mean? Pretending to be a paramedic. You don't do that just because you're bored. It's kind of a long story. <laughs> Always is with men. So, does your girlfriend know about this? I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. Well, if you did have a girlfriend, would you tell her what you were up to? Probably not, no. Why not? I doubt she'd understand. How do you know and, and until you, and you tell her? I mean, maybe she would. Maybe if you sat her down and talked to her, you know? Showed her a little respect. Told her how you were feeling instead of making her look like an idiot. I'm not making anybody. I mean, how do you think she feels? Her going on about home reports, and bathroom tiles, and all the while you're keeping this big secret. Okay, you just you just need to control your breathing. Six years. Been together six years. And you can't tell her you're gay. I'm freezing. It shouldn't be long. I want to go to sleep. No, no. No, you don't do that. You're going to stay awake, okay? Listen to me, listen. I'm going to take you to the ED. Yeah? Okay, you just got to sit tight. No, you can't. Ali, listen. Your pulse is going up and you're tachycardic. You need help. What about jail? Let's worry about you first, yeah? Thank you. I need some help here, please. I found her by the river. I think she's got some kind of back injury. And you moved her? Well, I didn't know what else to do. All right, just hold your horses, can you? Her name's Ellie. She said she fell earlier. And? History? I don't know. How long's she been down? Uh, a while, I think. What have you given her? What do you mean? No offence, but this has to be one of the worst handovers ever. The drugs. Keep your on there. I don't give out drugs. I see. <laughs> Excuse me, we need to get to resource. Ali, what happened to you? Chris Brendan is here, worried Out of the way, please. Oh, you got some nerve, haven't you? Showing up here? Mm. I'm handing myself in, all right? I just had to do one last job. You mean you're still at it? I had no choice. The girl needed help. Yeah? Well, then leave it to the professionals. I oh, know. Like I said, it's over. Too right, it's over. Do you realise the damage you could have done? Have you any idea how hard idiots like you make our job? I'm sorry. Sorry's not going to do it, mate. You put people's lives at risk. And not only that, you use the name of a good paramedic. Jamie Ross was a real hero. You don't have to tell me about Jamie Ross, OK? He saved my life. I was in the front carriage when the train crashed. It was just a noise. And then it went black. And I've never been so scared. And when I came to, my leg was bust. And I couldn't move. And then I started to smell smoke. I started to panic. And I remember thinking, and don't ask me how he did it but he got me out and he dragged me onto the verge and he laid me down and he spoke only five words name's Rossi you'll be okay And then he ran back onto that train. And that's 
where he died. So you repaid the guy who saved you by destroying his reputation? That's the last thing I wanted to do. You see, before the crash, I was a waster. I didn't do anything with my life. And then after Rossi, I couldn't live with myself. Got yourself a conscience, did you? Yeah. If you like. You see, he died saving strangers. Saving someone like me. And I kept thinking, the world's not right. If anybody should die, it should be me. And I figured the world couldn't afford to lose someone like him. So I decided to fill that hole and do what Rossi did. Well, why not just do the training? I was. Until they found out about my epilepsy and they kicked me out. But I just... I still wanted to help. I wanted to be useful like him. I suppose it was my way of thanking him. Still broke the law. Yeah, I guess. Could be PTSD though, from the crash. Well, if it is, then I'll get all the help he needs, won't I? Here, hold up! Listen, uh, for what it's worth, that was good work at the bridge. And, um, I didn't know this Rossi bloke, but... I don't think he'd have been really proud of you. Thanks. I thought we'd send you off. Oh, my God.